All right, so now that we've kind of gone through the basics of the interface, we need to learn how to kind of get around it here. So in SOLIDWORKS, if I scroll, the, use the scroll wheel, so I push away from me, pull towards me, zooms in. If I press the middle wheel, now I go straight into orbit. If I hold shift in the middle wheel, I do a kind of a dynamic zoom. I do control middle wheel, I can pan. I can also get through those up here, so zoom extents, zoom to an area, draw, draw a window here, zoom previous. Um, I can also hit the space bar, and then that'll give me kind of both this little view here, so I can pick straight on views if I want. I can also use corners of that little cube to get to different isometric views. I can also pick like an edge view, so I'm looking down at it from the corner um, there. So I can go in and make those changes. Up here, I also have some other options for, so that, that brings me to that same option. If I turn that off, then that cube goes away, and the spacebar just brings up this. But if I want the cube to show up, I can turn that on also. Um, this one here changes my what it look, looks like. I like shaded with edges because I like to see where my edges are. Some people like shaded, but I see that right over here, you kind of lose it. You lose it over here. So I prefer to have shaded with edges on so I can see the outline of my part. Um, you can also turn on off different things. Um, so if you've got planes or, or whatever, you can turn them on and off. Here, we can go into some appearance settings. Uh, we'll talk about that later. And some view settings, so kind of how do we want to look? Do we want to be perspective? Or do we want to be uh, parallel? Do we want real view turned on or not? So if you're having performance issues, you can turn these off, and then it's gonna not have to, it's not gonna be trying to do the reflections and stuff like that. It's gonna speed up your computer. Um, and I kind of sometimes just like it turned off anyway, so it's here. If I'm using materials and getting ready to do a rendering, then that's when I might turn that on. Uh, but usually I'll, I won't do that. Another option here that is good is this one here is to the section view. So I can go in and I can cut into a part. I can use these to rotate. So I can look at the inside of the part. And you can see here, I can just click the buttons to switch the orientation. Um, I can do more than one at a time also. So I can do that one there. And then now I can do a second one there. Um, and so I can cut off two different corners of it and make a comeback. So a lot of ways we can kind of get in and look at our part um, while, while we're working. So, all right, practice, practice. Get, get more comfortable with that. The more comfortable you are moving around, looking at your part from different sides, the better. If you do have a 3D mouse, it works the same as in, in every other program. And so that's one reason that having a 3D connection mouse I like it is that I don't have to remember which key is orbit and zoom and pan in each program. I can just use the 3D mouse for that without having to touch the traditional mouse. All right.